Hello everyone, this is Dale Cantrell with Variable Holiness Church, wanting to bring you a Start Your Day Off Right series video for October the 17th. My quote is, I am a success today because I had a friend who believed in me and I didn't have the heart to let him down, Abraham Lincoln. My story is, is kind of long, but as you are reading this, I'm sure some of you have strained relations that need fixing and have Needed fixing for such a long time. Fathers and sons, mothers and daughters, good friends who haven't spoken or avoided each other for a long, long time. Why don't you just pick up the phone if they're not near you? Or better still, go see them if possible. If I could say something that would prick the heart and conscience of just one person watching this, I would feel like its, its existence would be well worth it. Uh, haven't, hasn't separation... Hasn't your separation gone on long enough? Some of you have forgotten what it was all about and why it even happened. I don't know why you feel the way you do, but I do know that it's not worth it. You should treat every living person if they would, as if they would be gone from this earth within the next 24 hours. The person that you have a strained relationship with may very well be gone within 24 hours, and in the cemetery there will be apologies never made and forgiveness never given. You may see not see the bars and no one else may be able to see them, but you are in prison all the same. Oh, I'm not saying that you don't ever get out or ever get away from those bars, but like a cage animal, you eventually, you go back to your cage. I hate for something so small to make you a little person when you could have been something big. Don't you hate for something to have such a hold on you that it wounds you and renders you helpless? Friend, I know it looks like a mountain. It looks so hopeless and, and helpless. I would love to see the handcuffs and shackles fall off of you this very moment and you be free. Don't tell me you're getting accustomed to this and you're actually enjoying it. Don't tell me that you wallered in it for this long and you're actually comfortable in wallering. When Moses went before Pharaoh and asked for God to let God's people go, God sent plagues to the Egyptians. One of the plagues was frogs. Pharaoh said he would let the people go Moses asked him when did he want the frogs to leave. Moses, Pharaoh told Moses, tomorrow. This is unbelievable and unacceptable. To be willing to live with frogs another day. I wish I wouldn't want frogs in my bed and in my stove another night. When are you going to forgive? Tomorrow. You, you're willing to sleep with unforgiveness another night and while in stubbornness? I, I can just almost hear your thoughts. You want to know if I'm asking you to forgive when you know that you're right. Yes, that's exactly what I'm suggesting you do because you, you can have the right of way in an automobile and still be killed. Oh, I'm doing all right, you may be saying. Oh, really? Whether you know it or not, you're dying by degrees. Besides this, you may be killing the other person as well. Why don't you give up that, give the gift that keeps on giving forgiveness? You may be praying that they'll come to you and start the process of forgiving. And they may be praying that you come to them and start the process. You'd better hurry, or do you want them to beat you and bend a bigger person? If I had acid in my hand and I was going to try to pour it on you for something you had done, my hand would be eaten up before I could get it to you. That's what's going on in your heart right now. And it's going to kill you and eat you up before it gets to the person, the other person. What about laying your weapon of unforgiveness down and go to that person unarmed? When you go to seek to understand first and then be understood later, I just feel like someone is going to take me up on this. When your chains fall off you, would you please call me at 256-508-4410? My scripture is Colossians 1, 12 through 14, 12 through 14 giving thanks unto the Father which made us meet to be protectors of the inheritance of the saints in light, who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, and whom we have the redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. Uh, my humor is I got it from President Reagan, and uh, he told this. It's corny, but they really laughed at him. I guess if you're the president, they will. I think it's corny, but I want to tell it to you. He said that, in this country, Soviet Union, he said it took 10 years to get a car. And this man brought a, bought a car. And they said, well, it'll be 10 years to this day, and you'll get your car. 
And he said, are y'all coming in the morning or the afternoon? And they said, what difference does it make? He said, well, the plumber's coming in the morning. So uh, anyway, Corny, I know, but uh, just want to get you something to be thinking about today. This is Dale Cantrell with Wordyville Holiness Church. I'm not trying to replace your minister or you get in the church. I'm just trying to get you something if you needed uh, something else, a little additional. So uh, my number is 256 Until we do this next time, may God bless you.